Hello, GCSE Physics Explained. Uh, I'm going to make a 300 subscriber video and take the opportunity to tell you about how air moves using this. So this is the giveaway prize. An air zooker, one of these bad boys. Now I'm not going to open this, I'll keep that brand new, but I've got one from work, comes with the site. I'm going to explain the physics behind the air cannon, in other words, how it makes the air move. I've bought some smoke bombs and I'm going to fill the chamber up with smoke, so that when I do fire it, you can see it. I'm also going to put some paper cups in the way, so when the air hits them, you can see what's happening. The air that comes out of the cannon is called a vortex. A vortex is a spinning flow of fluid. Fluid is anything that can flow, so that's a gas or a liquid. Water going down the drain forms a vortex. The air in a tornado is also a vortex. In the shape of funnels. The air cannon vortex is a donut shape, or mathematically, it's called a torus. The air rolls from the centre to the edge. I'll show you that in the lab. The air forms the donut shape because the air leaving the centre is travelling faster than the air on the edges. Using Bernoulli's principle, if the air travels fast, it's got a low pressure, and if it's travelling slow, to a higher pressure. So the higher pressure on the outside of this fast moving air will help to keep the donut shape as a donut. If air is moving fast, the particles are spread out and that gives it a low pressure. If the particles are moving slower, uh, the particles are closer together, so it has a higher pressure. This concept is involved in aeroplane wings and that's what makes an aeroplane fly. The Bernoulli principle is also the reason why you can have a ping pong ball and a hairdryer and you can put the ping pong ball above the hairdryer and it will stay there if you switch the hairdryer on. These are the smoke pellets that I'm going to be using. They don't come with the giveaway. That's enough of the science. Let's just start using this. Let's see if I can blast it down from over here. Need to get closer. Decent. Right, let's try a one from here. One shot, one cup. Yeah. Right, let's see if I can get it from here. Alright, need to be a bit closer though. Let's try two in a row. Yeah. Let's try three in a row. So this blue part represents the air cannon. The black part represents the plastic sheet. And when you leave go of the plastic sheet, the plastic sheet fires forwards and forces the air out the front. Now because of these lips here, the air in the middle comes out fast and the air along this edge here comes out slower. But the air coming out is still faster than the air that's already outside. So the air in the middle is going fast and it rolls outwards on either side and it rolls back on itself like so. And the air over here is moving slow so these air particles are close together which gives high pressure And these particles here, which have not been shot out of the cannon either, 
they are also a high pressure. Because they are moving slow, the particles are close together. These particles that have just been shot out of the cannon are moving fast. So these particles are more spaced apart. And as these particles try to move outwards, they hit the high pressure air and get moved back inwards. And this is what's creating the donut shape or mathematically known as the torus. With the air in the middle moving outwards and round. Outwards and round and it creates the donut shape. But that's happening right the way around the shape. The air is rolling back on itself and that's how we'll see the puff of smoke, like a donut. Regions of high pressure and low pressure is called the Bernoulli effect or the Bernoulli principle. So when air is moving fast it has a lower pressure and when air is moving slower it has a higher pressure. So that's it moving slower, that's it moving faster. And this is what helps an aeroplane wing to create lift with the movement of the torus going from left to right as I've drawn it. Right, I've got these smoke pellets here. I'm going to use these to fill that up with smoke. So then when I fire it, I see the air moving. Alright, so it's over here. Let's get that filled up. Pull it back. Right. Okay, so that's nice and full. So if you can fire it over there. It's decent. So we'll know these work. One fire over there. That's class then. Well, that's a good one. So this is the torus. Because when air moves fast, it's got a low pressure, and when air is moving slow, it's got a higher pressure. So this air is moving fast, it's got a low pressure. And the surrounding air is got a higher pressure. So it's the high pressure surrounding the air that keeps the dome up here. You can see the wind's affecting it a little bit, so I'm going to go inside and try it in there. So here's the vortex coming.
So the air is coming out the middle very fast. So the particles are spread out. So that means that they're at lower pressure. The surrounding air in the room already is at higher pressure. So that's what's keeping the vortex together. That's what's keeping the uh, donut shape, the torus, together. My wife's still in bed, so hopefully all this smoke will disappear by the time she comes back down. <laughs> Trouble lighting it. Good old matches instead. <laughs> <laughs>